Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we will be looking at something that is pretty impressive. Now, this is known as Cozy Blanket, a tool that is being created by Pablo Dubarro alongside with a couple of other developers. But for the most part, Pablo Dubarro has been the only one that has been posting these on his Twitter, you know, showing development, teasing a couple of nice things that will be coming once this tool gets finalized. And for those who have no idea who Pablo is, Pablo has been the creator of several tools that exist in Blender sculpting tools. For a very long time, he was the core developer of several amazing sculpting tools that exist in Blender currently that have actually come to love. Tools like the cloth brush, face set, making sure that cloth or dynamics exist in most of the brushes that we have right now, the array. We also talked about some, you know, beautiful tools that he has created for blender sculpting section and that is quite nice and regardless of all of these things that he has been working on he also takes advantage of the fact that blender is a beautiful tool and makes artworks with all of the tools that he makes you know it's more like an artist creating something for himself but sort of keeping it public and that is exactly what he is doing with the cozy blanket so at the point of recording the cozy blanket itself is in serious serious development and we've seen a couple of nice things come to it. Initially, the plan for Cozy Blanket was simply designed for iPad and also Apple Pencil. This has begun to switch, you know, things are changing gradually. Now, from using very simple models to using models that are up to 19 million plus polygons and running on the third generation iPad Pro, it looks pretty interesting. Retopology, just like UV and clean motion capture data, is one of those things that I think needs to be automated or sort of made fun. And a tool like Cozy Blanket, in terms of retopology, is quite promising. The fact that you can whip up your iPad on a train, on the bus, or maybe you're just sitting in the garden and you can start doing that retopology instead of sitting in front of a computer is just super impressive. Now, regardless of the fact that this was intentionally made for the Apple Pencil, they've added a couple of improvements and updates to this. And one of the cool updates that they've added is the fact that you can now use your fingers as a replacement for the pencil, as you no longer need to rely on the pencil to work with this. Something else that also makes a lot of sense with the tool, like despite the fact that you can do your topology on the fly, you can also work with symmetry. So there's symmetry that is being supported for this, you can smooth out stuff if you want. You can create polygroup or face it as it's called in Blender. And it is just quite impressive. One thing that makes a lot of sense now is Pablo Dubarro and alongside with the creators that he's working with at this point, they are calling for private beta. Yeah, I kind of think that most people need to get their hands on this, test it out and see how it works. And in that way, sort of profile feedback. And that way, I think as a community, we can grow and get better and create the tools that we we'll love and we we'll like to work with. At the same time, I would also love to see something like this come over to Android. So Android users will be able to take advantage of this. And as much as this is for iPad, I think it might also make sense to see it come to, you know, mobile devices like iPhones and all that, depending on the kind of functionalities and the technicalities that is involved. So for those who like to join this private beta, you can simply take a look at the link in the description that will take you over to a Google form where you can fill this up and get started with it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, a huge shout out to Pablo Dubarro for making this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.